Hello everyone and welcome back in Lockdown Cooking. Um, today I've got something nice and simple, something different for lunch, just to change to the normal habits or the normal routines that you have for ham sandwich or cheese and brownstone or whatever you like for lunch. Um, I thought just to do something different um, with pesto, grilled mozzarella cheese, um, panini bread and a tomato. Right? So what we're going to do with this, we are going to make a little toasty with these ingredients. It's going to be nice and hot and it's going to be delicious. There's a lot of cheese in it and you know it, I like my cheese. Okay, so let's get going. I wash my hair, I've tied my, uh, no, I wash my hands, I've tied my hair up. I always mix this around. Um, and I have put the, um, the oven on grill at 200 degrees. Um, if you don't know how to use the oven on grill, please ask an adult um, to help you out with that. Um, if you're not sure, it's the one, it's the setting with the little triangles, that's the grill. But always ask an adult, then you're good. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to um, cut my panini bread in two. I'm going to use a bread knife for this. Um, the way I do it is I put my hand on the top and I just cut it in the middle like this, but you have to be very careful not to cut in your hands, okay? So you have to kind of look how you're going. And you can see, yeah, I'm doing good. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna slice my fingers here. There you go. All right, that's done. So I'm gonna put them upside down, so with the, uh, the outside facing up. And I'm gonna put this in my grill, on my grill, for one minute max, really not long. Okay, so let's put it in here, just to, just gentle twist it. While we're doing this, I'll put the crumbs in there, we don't want them. Great, I'm, gonna, I'm going to slice my tomato. Right, I washed this one, so it's good. Um, so I'm gonna make little, um, how do you say? A little slices, round slices of them. You can go as thick as you want, just like this. And remember everyone, we use the clove for this. Okay, that's my tomato sorted. Right, put this one here. Right, let's have a look. We know a lot. Mm -hmm. Look, I've got some really nice pesto, really delicious. Okay, let's get this one out. Really not long, that's it. Just to give it a little bit of a crust. Okay, next part. With a spoon, I'm going to take some pesto and just put it a bit everywhere on my bread. My panini bread. Nice. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, as you can see, I use the back bit of my spoon just to spread it around. Nice. Mmm. Got a lot of pesto. Alright, put this one back in the fridge. <clears throat> okay, so depending on your tomatoes, um, scrub, put them on your panini the way you like it. Um, I think I'm just going to put one. There you go. That'll be okay. No, let's put these ones back on my grill here. And let's get some cheese. You can do this with um, mozzarella cheese that's in the water, in the packages. Remember to drain the water. Maybe you can dry your mozzarella a little bit with a, um, a kitchen towel so it doesn't add too much moisture, too much moisture to your bread. 
There you go. Okay, I do like my cheese a bit more. Mm -hmm. And what is back in the oven? Okay, um, no, I would leave them two minutes, no, probably not, nothing more than three. It just depends on how well your mozzarella will melt. And um, what I like to do is having my mozzarella melted and um, a bit brown, uh, just like, just it's not burnt, but just a little bit brown. That looks delicious. Okay, so let's try to achieve that today. Um, also, uh, you see that I close my, uh, my oven. Now, some ovens, um, when you use the grill, you need to leave the door open. It's just depending on which oven, so that's why it's maybe better when you're going to use the grill to ask an adult. Um, okay, I'll see you back in two, three minutes max. Okay, we are three minutes later. Let's get a look at these. And this is how I like them. Look at, turn my oven off. Okay, you got these nice little brown little bubbles there. It's going to be delicious. Let's put some pepper over this. Great stuff. Okay, be careful, this is gonna be hot. Hot, hot, hot. Hot. Put this one on the side. And I think I'm going to tuck in these right away. Okay, I'm going to try to show you a bit closer. Well, you can, if you can see these little brown bubbles there, that's what you want to achieve. It's really delicious. Okay, super. So in French, we would say, bon appétit. Okay, merci beaucoup. Thanks for watching. And see you later, everyone. Keep safe. Thank you.